Hi, just a quick uh, uh, video here, just a show you a gift, a holiday gift from this is uh, this is the Ravel A6M50. Uh, uh, this is a relatively new boxing of a old mold. Uh, the boxing itself is from 19 uh, from 2014 uh, 2013. Uh, the mold itself is from 1962, which I'll show you in a second. So, just to quickly show you what comes in the box. So, you got your typical Ravel box. And put that there, um, very lightweight box with a, a little cardboard stiffener in there. Um, all the pieces they come here in this plastic bag. I took everything out just to make this quicker. Um, there's a total of 29 pieces all together. Uh, so just to quickly run through them. So here you have part of the pieces. Here you have your engine cowling, the, uh, the engine already molded in. You got your horizontal stabilizers. You got the two out for your fuel tanks. Uh, you got your uh, landing gear doors, the actual landing gears. You have the landing gear doors. You have on this other sprue, you got the propeller with the spinner. Uh, you have your pilot, you have your engine exhaust, the wheels, uh, the cannons, the uh, antenna. You got your um, instrument panel and whatever this piece is for. And you got your uh, fuselage halves and you got your wing halves. Uh, here on the wings, if you take a look, see this is made in China. Uh, you see here the stamp, copyright 1962, Revell Inc., all rights reserved, made in China. Um, and same thing on the upper wing. I uh, see also on the upper wing there is no details there uh, for the wing well at all. And here on the fuselage, well, one, one error that I do see with the kit um, is that it doesn't show at all the, uh, uh, the back here uh, where you have the... Uh, behind the cockpit where you have the... the uh, uh, the area there, which is flat, doesn't have all these raised rivets. Actually, looks totally different from that. Um, that's probably two of the glaring mistakes to see here. That that's inaccurate, and there's no detail there whatsoever in the wheel wells. Also, the wheel, the tail wheel, is just one piece molded here, molded in. Um, I mean, for 1962 mold, it's not too bad. There's a little bit of flash here and there, but it is what it is. Uh, the canopy comes in its own little separate bag, one piece. Uh, not exactly the greatest, it's a little thick, you can probably see there how much distortion there is, but it is what it is. Uh, I mean for a 1962 kit, uh, I mean it's fine. Um, maybe if you also saw the pilot there in the cockpit, I'll just show you here the inst instructions. Here's the decal, I'll show you that in a second. You know, typical Revell instructions. Uh, you got your pin calls. You got your parts, uh, which actually this is a ni nice feature of these older kits where they actually uh, tell you what all the parts are, uh, which I think is a nice little thing, which not all modern kits do. Uh, and here you have your very basic, simple uh, put together, all in five steps. Uh, if you see, this is one of those what people hear people call pilot on a stick. Uh, it's just the mullet and poly mullet into the seats. Is there's a stick there? It goes inside cockpit wall. And the same thing with the instrument panel. There is no details whatsoever in these side walls there. Uh, the landing gear are made to go up and down. Uh, typical of those 1960 kits. Again, there's no detail whatsoever in the wheel wells. The engine, everything's molded in. Uh, and then you got your engine exhaust. Put on the engine. Put the, the fuselage and wings together. The fuel tank. And then you have your paint callouts, uh, which for which you have uh, two of them. Uh, and then the general one. And here are your de decals, decals. Uh, just a pretty basic, simple, simple set. Doesn't say who these are printed by. Uh, it just says copyright 2014 Revell Inc. All rights reserved. Anyway, uh, this is just a quick out of box uh, to show you what I got for the holidays. And I'll show you the next kit uh, as soon as I get it. Uh, coincidentally, I was thinking of getting a um, another um, Zero kit to do some practice painting on. I do have a few other uh, zeros in my stash, so uh, it's very apropos that I got this kit from the missus. Alright, thank you all. Hope you guys are having happy holidays. Bye-bye.